This is the senior graduating class of this year's Cat's Eye News. This opener was the last thing they recorded this year. And guess what they forgot to do? They didn't turn on the mic. So now, with questionable editing skills and underpaid voice actors, here is the legacy of the Cat's Eye News senior team. Something something, crochet interest group, all this and more. On today's episode of the Cat's Eye News. Hey Wildcats, the Black Student Alliance Interest Group has extended its application deadline to May 27th. If you are interested in being part of the leadership team, scan the QR code and fill out the application. If you have any questions or concerns, please email Ms. Spring. Have a good day, Wildcats. What's up, Novi? Crochet Interest Group is meeting this Thursday, May 23rd in room 160 from 3 to 4 p.m. They will be having ice cream and making scrunchies. If you're interested, there's more information on the flyer on the screen. See you later, Novi. What's going on, Novi? Welcome back to Cat's Eye Reviews. Today we're going to be reviewing X-Men 97. Let me just start off by saying I have never cared about the X-Men ever, but when I was younger, I always watched the animated X-Men show from the 90s, and I was very excited to see it come back, and they're just continuing off of it. I want to say that show was fantastic. Like, there was one episode that I thought was like, oh, it was okay, but everything else was like... A banger like the characters are so well written the animation is nice they try to keep it that 90s style but also given a nice little modern twist they have impact frames like it's crazy I love the show so much and I'm so excited for season two three four and I and maybe five I, I I love that they're getting all these cameos in because a lot of the cameos you really would not expect but it's fantastic because they surprise us with this this show is a 9 out of 10 okay it's a 9 out of 10 I have no doubt about it it's a fantastic show you also check it out as well Magneto my favorite character by the way fantastic writing beautiful writing okay great show you all need to check it out if you like X-Men or Marvel we'll see you later Nova What's up, Novi? Over the last four years in high school, us seniors have picked up a lot of wisdom and are very, very smart people overall. So, Chase and I, not all these people, went around lunch to ask seniors what their best piece of advice for people younger than them is. Here's what we found. Uh, don't procrastinate your homework. <laughs> Stay on top of your work. Don't let stuff get behind. Don't, don't get behind on stuff. If you guys could give one piece of advice to people younger than you to prepare them for high school, what would it be? Uh, this is this is a lot on the spot, honestly. I'm sure it is, but if you could think of one thing. Yeah, no, honestly, keep your head down, grind, grind it out, just stack your cheese, man. Agree, what about you? Honestly, just reflecting on what he said, you know, stack your bread. No. Make sure to go to the school events, because you'll miss them when you graduate. Facts. Yep. Oh, hey, oh, make sure to make a lot of friends and a lot of good memories throughout high school. Don't take it too seriously. Just smile. Just be happy, you know what I'm saying? Keep a positive attitude. When you're going through it, still try to live your best life, even if it could be better. Solid advice, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. What's like the best piece of advice you'd give somebody younger than you to get through high school? Um, it's not all about grades. You know, you know, enjoy the moment of high school because if you just think about grades, you know, you're gonna regret every moment of your life. Like, it's not all about grades. Don't compare yourself to other people. Just compare yourself like to yesterday you and try to be better than yesterday you because like there's always gonna be someone better than you. And you just want to be better than yes than you from yesterday. One percent better each day. Yeah, love it, man. Care about your grades. Care about extracurriculars, like things that are actually going to impact your future, and worry less about like, oh, um, this person doesn't like me, or I didn't get invited to go here because it's not going to matter and it's not going to impact your future. Um, I would say still trying your classes, even though like it's hard because the motivation level is probably decreasing as time goes on but just try and persevere and try like everything because it's your last chance and you only get to experience high school one time. Make connections, meet a lot of people because like the more people that you meet and that you know like the easier high school gets because you can talk to a lot of people. Go to class. Go to class, don't skip. Don't skip. Why not? Because 
because then you miss important information. All right, Nova, that's the advice that the seniors have to give. We hope you can take that with you in the coming years, and we also hope you the best for your future. We'll see you later. Hey, Novi, this is Luke, back again on my last day in this school. As you probably know, today is the senior's last day, so I just wanted to take this time to thank you guys all for making this year so amazing. We're really gonna miss you guys, and we wish you the best of luck for the rest of your time here at the school. As always, thank you guys so much for watching, and for the very last time, this is Luke, signing off.